Am I the asshole? For telling my niece it's her fault that my horse kicked her? I have a niece who is my older brother's and his wife daughter. She's a very sweet girl and she loves my horses and the other horses I board which are my friends. My brother and his wife live in the city, while I live in my uncle's ranch on my mother's side in a different state. My brother and I have different moms but same dad. They sent my niece to come stay with me for a few months. Which I greatly accepted. She's been good and she calls her friends back at her home state and facetimes her parents once in a while. She's a great help with feeding my animals and my horses. The only problem is, she doesn't know how to ride horses and sometimes teases the horses. I have two very young horses a filly and a colt which are very excited horses and I don't really allow her in the field with them. As they like to kick and buck even when people are around. And I have an old stallion which was my first horse my uncle got me. His name is Rooster and he is 32 years old. That is my niece's favorite horse, she always wants to ride him. But I don't allow anyone to ride him and I don't ride him no more. He's very patient and kind but he doesn't like anyone touching his back legs and his tail, when you walk behind him. He will kick but when he knows you are there, he doesn't mind being touched back there as long as anyone approaches him in the front. Overall he's a great horse. She will tease him with a lunging whip by tickling his back legs and his tail, trying to get him to kick. I have told her numerous times and warned her. She still continues to do it behind my back. Well I told her to go get Rooster out of the pasture and into his stall. She went to go and get him and I heard a scream in the barn. I got over there and she was holding on to her leg crying in pain, while Rooster ran back to the pastures. I asked her what happened and she said Rooster had kicked her left thigh and I asked her if she touched him on the back legs or his tail. She said she pushed him on his tail. To get him in his stall and that's when he kicked her and ran off. She started cursing about Rooster and doesn't want to be around him. I told her it's her fault she provoked him and for not listening to me after so many warnings. I told her that bruise on her leg is a lesson now to be careful around bigger animals. Especially ones that can kick at any moment. She can walk it off, and she called her parents after. They called me and told me that it was my fault for not supervising her and that they're gonna get her home. I told them everything but they won't listen and my sill told me I need to get rid of Rooster. I told her no and hung up. Now I am wondering. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Weird that she wants to tease the horse, she seems a bit mean. What's up with that? ESH. If you know she teases him like that, I can't imagine why you would let her be around him unsupervised. ESH for still allowing her around the horse that you knew was likely to kick her. Yeah she's 14 and you warned her, but you also knew she was still doing it and was like to get hurt. I'm shocked you left her so long. I kicked my own immediate family off my property the first time I caught them harassing my horses. I didn't play with the BS of multiple warnings. 14 is more than old enough to know better. ESH. Don't let people who enjoy teasing and provoking animals around your animals. Your silk can bugger off as well. 14 is old enough to understand that an animal doesn't want to be touched on the back. She was provoking the horse. Not the asshole. You're the asshole, you basically gave a drunk driver the keys and got surprised that they crashed. Horses are dangerous animals and need to be respected. 14 is old to learn that lesson. Not the asshole. Sh, sounds like it was her fault, but you already knew she couldn't be trusted alone around the horses. Either send her home or monitor her around the animals until she grows up. Not the asshole. A 14 year old knows not to play with fire. It's her fault she did this despite repeated warnings. Can't decide. She did get kicked because of her actions, but why did you send her to bring Rooster in when you know she teases him? Not the asshole you repeatedly warned your niece about the dangers of provoking the horse, and she didn't listen. It's unfortunate that she got hurt. 
but she needs to learn to respect the boundaries of animals and take responsibility for her actions. Not the arsehole for what you said to your niece, but you're the arsehole for allowing her near the horses unsupervised while you knew she was being cruel to them. For the horse's sake, not your niece's. She deserved that kick. Tormenting an animal is animal abuse. She is not good with animals. You if you keep letting her torment your animals. You are the only protector the animals have, protect them. Notar play horse games and win horse prizes. Not the asshole. She needs to wear a riding helmet for the rest of her stay with you. That way if she's at all inclined to act out then her noggin should be safe. Play stupid games, win stupid big bruises. She's lucky not to be concussed. You're the asshole. Rooster isn't but you let her torment him with the lunch line. You should have sent her home the first time you saw her torment him. You're the asshole for keeping her around these animals when you knew she wasn't suitable. ESH. She's old enough to just do what she's told, but you're the caretaker of a horse and you sent someone you know isn't trustworthy to handle it. Man 14 is old enough to learn a hard lesson. It's also old enough to do chores around the farm without constant adult supervision. You, dear editor, are not the asshole. Poor Rooster. Niece is definitely T.A. The only way your T.A. is for not stopping her on Rooster's behalf earlier. Yes, she deserved to get kicked. But Rooster didn't deserve to continually be harassed. You need to protect your horse. You're the asshole. Not the asshole teachable moment. Kid sounds half stupid. Kick probably did her some good. E.S.H. The, obviously, for teasing the animals and doing things she knows they don't like, but you as well for continuing to allow her around the horses when you know she's intentionally teasing and provoking them. It's not fair to the animals. I'm a horse person too. Wow just wow you don't f around with horses. I would send her back to her parents if it was me. Nope she's old enough to know better. Time to send her home. She is deliberately breaking your rules by teasing the horses, she cannot be trusted. Tell her that maybe she can come back when she is older, but for now she has to go home. Not the asshole and do not get rid of the animals for people who can't follow directions. Not the asshole. Some lessons need to be learned the hard way. She thought she could do whatever she wanted and get away with it. She deserved it. Clearly, your sill doesn't know anything about horses. Not the asshole all animals deserve the fact that they're just that, animals. Sounds like she instigated it more so. Had you been there even holding her hand, the outcome would be the same. Sorry this happened to you. She played a stupid game and won a stupid prize. I don't like hearing of anyone getting hurt, but a 14 you, especially after several chats, should have known better. Not the asshole. 100 not the asshole. And after reading more info from your comments, I hope you send all these comments to your sill. Notar don't have your niece around your animal anymore I recommend to put security cameras around your horses just in case your sill do something to your animal to get back you.